Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic second day of spring. Um, let me get in close so you guys can see all my nose hairs and everything this morning. Um, hopefully everyone is doing well. Good to see everyone on the call. Uh, real quick, wanted to address a few things that we have going on uh, today, this week, uh, as well as coming up this, um, let me mute you all. All right, as well as what's going to go ha be happening going into the weekend. Uh, first of all, Sean Eubanks has three open houses uh, starting today. I did tag all of you on them. So the first one is going to be in Miami, 676 Northwest 45th Street. That's today uh, from 3 to 6.30. He's got another one in Miami Shores uh, from 3 to 6.30 tomorrow. And then on Saturday from 11 to 3 p.m. Uh, so he's got those three open houses going. Uh, now, I want you guys to know these are not Sean's listings. He identified someone who was willing, and a broker investor, who was willing to uh, allow him to do the open houses. So now he's going to go through and do the full open house uh, process or system. And this is not to. He is not doing open houses to sell those three properties. Sean is doing open houses to get buyer leads, listing leads, and to get exposure in those neighborhoods. Now, I know that Sean could have found someone else to get uh, to do open houses for in different neighborhoods, but these are the neighborhoods that he's looking to break into and in the price points, the price bands that he's looking to break into. So we're going to have that today, tomorrow, and uh, Saturday. So if you guys have a chance to go out, uh, you should have been tagged in the post that I shared as World of Now Real Estate um, yesterday, no, the day before yesterday. Uh, so you guys, if you would take a look at those and get to where you can, that would be awesome. For those of you who are not going on Saturday to his open house, Dan Longman and Priority Lending are having their um, appreciation party. That's going to be at Brian Piccolo Park from 11 to 2. From 11 to 2. Brian Piccolo Park. Brian Piccolo Park. Uh, that's going to be tomorrow. I'm sorry, Saturday the 23rd from 11 to 2. So if you can get out to that, uh, get out there. Sean, we do not want to see you there because we expect you to be selling properties, getting leads, doing all of that good stuff. Um, something I'm going to ask from all of you. If you if you are doing an open house, make world-renowned real estate a co-host. Or if you're doing a real estate event, make world-renowned real estate a co-host because it's just like when Sean and I were talking about this the other day. When we co-market a property or when you co-list a property or even if you have an exclusive listing, do you want other agents to be able to advertise? The answer is Yes, because we want all eyes. We want as much exposure as possible on the property or on our event as possible. And the way you do that is to get other people's databases, not get them physically, but to get your information out to their database, especially if it's a listing, because everyone has to come back to you as the listing agent. So we want no pride, no ego involved in those things. So make sure if you have something, share uh, or make me a co-host on an event. Uh, Sean and I, we had a really in-depth a couple of hours that we got together, put some things in place uh, for his open houses and just to, you know, unlocking uh, the process and procedures. Talking about open houses, secrets to a successful open house, that video, those videos, I believe there are three videos, uh, is part one, two, and three. They are on the YouTube channel. If you guys have questions, please, please, please go on the YouTube channel under Agent Training and under World Renowned Family. Click under those two areas, Agent Training and World Renowned Family. More than likely, 
the topic is in there and you'll be able to uh, pull out some tips there before making a call. So right now I've um, gone through, we have, I checked yesterday, there are 200 videos on the channel, 200 videos, and about 100 of those are specifically for real estate. So go in there, we put a lot of time, effort, and energy into making those things happen. Uh, for the open house, uh, part of the process, part of the system is making sure that at the open house you're ready for whatever comes. So that is whether it's going to be buyer consultations, uh, marketing consultations, or listing presentations, um, having them ready to sign the exclusive buyer broker agreement, having them ready to sign a marketing agreement for the listings. So all of that goes into the open houses. Uh, for me, it is, you guys know, I'm a big user of my marketing books, my seller books. Also have something for buyers that's not as elaborate as this here. Uh, and then making sure that I have with me my buyer and my listing presentation in this folder right here. I always carry this with me. The reason it's in the thing that it is because I want to make sure that every time I go somewhere, anytime I get in my vehicle, regardless of which one it is, that is my listing presentation right there. We are going to be going through this in depth again. I did it for video once before, and then in the back is my buyer stuff. So regardless of where I am, I know that if I grab this one thing, if I don't have anything else, I have everything I need to do a listing presentation and a buyer consultation right here in this folder and that includes all the ebba forms i need them to sign it includes examples of marketing that uh, i do all of that is in there something else uh, the magazine some of you are not receiving your florida realtor or your realtor magazines because they're coming to me and i have a stack of them uh, i'm going to ask you guys uh, go in change your addresses so that you can get those sent to you because it is valuable information. For instance, I am, uh, well, uh, let, let me take a side, a detour real quick. If you guys have been, or you guys have been receiving your Florida, Florida, not Florida, I'm from Alabama, so everything ends in R. Um, a Florida Realtors email, you'll see at the bottom, I am featured in a take five, and it's about productivity mastery uh, that time management is a myth now this is something that was shot back in august of 2018 and they're releasing it now the reason i wanted to highlight or tell you guys about that is not about me and that i did the video it is about the impact and the influence that it shows that you have as a leader when you are in print when you are on video so what and just so I was with meeting with Charles earlier this week when I got an email from RPR RPR uh, if you guys remember we did the video uh, at the church last year RPR came back and now because of the influence and the response that they're getting they referred my name to our RIS, RIS media so today at three o'clock I'm doing a interview with RIS Media talking about real estate. And what I want you to see is it starts with consistency, guys. I say it to you all the time. It begins with consistency in anything that you do. You have to be consistent. You have to be seen day in, day out. You have to do the right things day in, day out. So whether it is being, oh, if you have not, and consistency begins with the first step. MiamiAgentMagazine.com. If you have not submitted your information to be featured in MiamiAgentMagazine.com, you have to do it. It's totally free. It's quick five or six questions. MiamiAgentMagazine.com. I'm going to ask each and every one of you to get featured in MiamiAgentMagazine.com. Uh, somehow, somewhere. So there are three different ways where you can get featured, but they're all just simple questions. You send a headshot and that's it. Right, so MiamiAgentMagazine.com. And the reason I want us to do this is because the more the public sees you, the more information that you have that you can pull down and put on your website or put on your YouTube channel, the more of that you can do, 
the more you're perceived as an expert. The people who are quoted, the people who are in uh, magazines, the people who are on videos, on floor rules, they're perceived as experts by their colleagues, but also by the public. And you guys have heard me say over and over again, repurpose everything you do. Repurpose everything you do. So if you're going to be uh, writing an article, then go ahead, turn that article into a blog post. And then the right people will see it if you do it consistently over time. And that's why I wanted to bring up the uh, Florida Realtors Take 5 because for seven years, I've been consistent knowing where my end goal is. And now I'm getting email responses saying, Neil, oh, first it was international, then it was luxury, now it's productivity. And think about this, I want you guys to understand that nothing has happened haphazardly, everything has been intentional toward the teaching, the teaching, speaking, and the training part of my business. So I want you guys to sit down and map out what you want out of this. Because for some of you, Real estate is not it for you guys. And, and, and that's the, you know, I've been doing a lot of things talking about tough truths. Some of you, what you're doing right now in real estate is not going to be able to help you sustain or, you know, have the future that you want. And that's okay if you have a plan and if you have a route and a direction that you're going to take. So how do you get from, and this is, and I didn't know what I was going to talk about in depth today, but this, I wanted to go here because I think each and every one of, of us needs this. So the reason this came up is because the magazines that I have here, and there's a lot of valuable content in every magazine or online or in these emails that I believe we're overlooking. So for those of you who know, I do, I focus on international. So every article, Every magazine, I don't care where it is, might have something about international. So what I do is, instead of keeping the entire magazine, I go through and I pull out, for instance, your global elevator pitch. I go through and I pull out different articles and I staple them together. This one here is six keys to become a top performer, right? And every magazine article that I have, I go through and every magazine I have, I go through and I find articles that interest me, legal issues that could stall a sale, and I pull them out. So now I'm not going around carrying magazines. I have maybe 10 pages, but the amount of information, what to know about finding U.S. real estate purchases, about funding U.S. real estate purchases. And this is how. I am able to be perceived as an international expert. Where are the buyers? They're waiting on earning. You know, so this talks of, no, it's not that one. It's this one. The pain and promise of a law. And this talks about some changes that are happening uh, with Congress and everything and legislation here in Florida. Networking for global success, right? So the reason I want you guys to see this is I am taking all of the information that people are coming and saying, Neil, great job. You're doing an awesome job at this. It's all being curated from other sources. It's just that I'm consistently putting it out there. I'm consistently putting it out there. And I'm telling people who I am, what I'm doing, how to make the most of a foreign trade mission. All of these here, mitigating U.S. income tax for foreign investment. Right. So that's how I do it. And I would urge you guys, if you haven't thought about doing something like that, uh, do that. And so along with my listing and my market stats, I keep this information here in my planner. Now, some of this information I might go through and I might study and read. But some of the information I go through and I do my short videos, my IGTV videos, that's where the content is coming from. Uh, my posts that you guys might see on social media, that's where the information is coming from right here. So I'm pulling everything that I'm doing and I'm using it over and over and over. So uh, I just want to ask and, you know, um, I, I guess encourage you guys to start instead of being perceived as agents. We have to shift now to being influencers, uh, and it needs to be around expertise in some specific topic, some specific niche or niche, as I say. Once again, I'm from Alabama. I'm surprised I don't say nicher. 
Um, like I said, we add an R to everything. See, Sean thought that was amusing. That's good. I can't see anyone else's face. So um, find a way to leverage your expertise. Everything that you do, figure it out. But first, you have to know what it is that you want to do. If I wanted to do 15 different things, it would appear that I'm scatterbrained. I've dealt with a lot of agents. I've had a lot of, of our colleagues come up and I, you would see them, but they would be in 10, 15 different organizations. You guys, as much as I focus on international, you've never seen me push ARIA, the Asian Real Estate Association or whatever. I don't push ARIA because that's not my wheelhouse. There are two or three things that I'm really good at and that has gotten us the attention. So I'm going to ask you guys to do the same thing. I put a post on Instagram a couple of days ago. It says, there are no bad soldiers under a good general. There are no bad soldiers under a good general. That is another, another one of those tough truths. Uh, I am going through, I'm going to share it with you guys right now. I'm going through Darren Hardy's Insane Productivity, which I know that many of you know already, but the ludicrous uh, upgrade. So this all talks about leadership uh, and something that Darren Hardy uh, talks about all the time. And this is something I'm trying to figure out how to get, because this is six modules, some, and they're realistically probably two hours, an hour and a half a piece. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can get this uh, for you guys because I believe that all of us are leaders, especially in our families, our business, our communities. Uh, but with the quote that came that there are no good, no bad soldiers under a good general, if where you are, if what you're doing is not yielding the results that you want, guess who's to blame? You are. So when world renowned, is not going the way I want it to. Guess whose fault it is? It's mine. And that is a tough truth that I've come to uh, accept. And so what I've decided to do is I am going on a recruiting blitz. I'm, I'm working to get higher uh, producing agents. I'm looking to get uh, a number of agents who are producing at a sustainable rate uh, because what we are doing right now is not the vision that I have for world renown. Now, that's no knock on any of you guys. What I'm saying is me as a leader, I know that we're not moving at the pace that we're supposed to. And me being honest with myself, I take full responsibility of that because what I found as well uh, whether it was from Pastor Troy talking about the pains of leadership last night or from all of my years of studying leadership is that people don't run as fast as they can. People don't run as fast as they would like to. People run as fast as the leader, right? And so the perfect example or illustration is, is when Usain Bolt was running in the Olympics a few years ago, he broke the world record, you know, just crazy in the 100. Uh, but the second and third place guys, they also broke the previous world record um, in the 100. And so they had never run that fast in their life. What happened was the interviewer came, he says, hey, number two, hey, number three, do you guys understand that you also just broke the world record in the 100? How did you run so fast when you've never run that fast? a day in your life. In your entire career, you've never run as fast as you did today. So what is it? Was there secrets about your training? Was there something different about your diet or about your routine? And what both of them said simultaneously is, we didn't do anything different. We were just trying to catch you saying, right? So with that being said, I understand that I have to move up. I have to move at a higher speed. Uh, and also I have to be okay understanding that some of the people who are in the race are not going to finish the race with world renown, right? And that's a reality. So I'm looking at it. I see where the effort is being put in. I, even without the results, remember that we always focus on the activities. I am an example of doing the right activities over time. It's not because I'm smarter. It's not because I'm better that I'm being featured on emails, magazines, newspapers. Now our next goal, and so you guys are clear, is for TV. We want to be a resource for news channels. That's our ultimate goal. And so, yeah, I know that it's not because of 
um, you know, just any one thing, there is favor involved, but it's consistency with doing the right thing. So I want to tell all of you guys that hopefully you all have heard my heart and what I'm trying to say about what we need to do, how to get where we want to be individually, and that's personally and professionally. You guys know I care about the person more than the profession all day, every day, because the person must be in line and do what's right and be okay before we can be okay professionally or in our businesses. Hopefully you all believe that and internalize that. But then after that, we have to do the right things. Miami Agent Magazine is the first step. We want to get you featured in something because the more you're featured, the more we can place those. We're going to start strategically placing all of the advertisements, all of the blogs, all of the videos that we're featured in. All of those things are going to be featured so that people can see us in the community, in the industry, as industry leaders, and not just another agent in a marketplace. And I'm going to make that uh, available for you guys that I'm working on right now so that each and every one of you can say, even if you're not in it, this is what we as a company do, this is the impact that we as a company have, but I want you guys individually starting to get the idea of what we're doing there. All right, I'm going to be quiet, I'm going to pause myself, Ask you guys to chime in. Go ahead and unmute questions, comments, concerns. Go. Hi, Neil. Good morning. This is Prime. Hey, Good you. morning, Prime. Uh, we're gonna go. So we're gonna go Prime. Then we're gonna go DeAndre. Then we're going to go Sean. Okay. All right. So Prime, go ahead, ma'am. Yes. Um, Awesome. Thank you for the information. Um, my question will be for the open house. You say you tag us, but I didn't receive anything. Was it an email or no? It was, was it? It was on Facebook. In the Facebook, you should see if you look on the bell, the alert sign on the right, you should see that World Renowned Real Estate tagged you in an event. Uh, and, and so if you guys did not, what I will do is I will share all of those as soon as we get done on the call. I'll share all of those into the closed group uh, so that you will make sure you have that information. I'll do that right away. Awesome. Anything Thank else right now, ma'am? No. All right. Thank My pleasure. Thanks for being on the call. DeAndre, you it's on you, sir. What's going on? How are you, sir? I'm good. Question about the uh, Miami agent. Magazine. Yes. Are you talking about the, the, the source for our short list feature? Yes. So be a be a, a source though there should be three options down there. Mm -hmm. And just choose whichever way you want to. I did all three of them. Now once they feature you one way, they're not going to do it another way. Um mm -hmm. and, and because there are just so many. So I filled out all three. They did me for uh you know, international, and because that's what I wanted. And so now I always have that. So that is one of the three. Well, what are the other two? Do you see them on there? Yeah, well, they have so many. It's, uh, they have, uh, it's like a list. It's three different topics you can choose from. Yeah, then, three. what are the three topics? You have customers, you have simple ways to keep in touch with past clients. No, 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 not, not there. The There should be three big buttons on the site for you to choose from. All right, I'll figure it out and I'll let you guys know. But but yes, that that is what I'm talking about there. That's cool. All right, thank you, sir. Sean, it's on you, sir. Yeah, hey, good morning, family. Uh, look here, I just saw on the uh, Fox Business News about the interview with the vice president of National Association of Realtors of how he was trying to explain the normal um, commission and how to explain it to your clients. Um, I know we dealt with this a while back with e and uh, internally, but uh, what are some of those uh, ways that we can probably negate that when we have people I want to talk about that. I know I used to have a breakdown of, you know, 1% equals this is what I do, 2% this is what I do, 3% this is what I do, which addition to the six, but I know that we don't have a set um, commission rate, but right now it seems that that area is being attacked. Um, and uh, I just want to see what we got in place or how we can take care of that from the word go with buyers and or sellers uh, so we can clean it up for all of us or something like that. All right. 
All right, questions about commission. So my questions when it comes to commission or my, my feeling when it comes to commission, commission is all about value and it's not about price. So price and value are not the same thing. So the way I handle my, uh, or, or the feeling of commission is, or compensation. So a lot of times I say compensation because the general public, they think commission is something that's earned by high dollar selling agents or salespeople. But, so they don't look at commission as something they can identify with. They're like, oh, commission are for the big ballers for those people. I say compensation because guess what? Every single person is compensated that works, right? So I said, well, do you understand how we're compensated, right? Or how we're paid? Let me explain. So for me, you guys have access to this because it is, I use a tiered commission structure. So in the listing information, it talks about the commission. Let me make sure you guys can see it. So it's world-renowned real estate marketing services. And for now, this is the one that I use. So what I have on here, all of you will not use because it's different. So, but you can use it as a model. So I have silver, gold, and platinum. Silver, gold, and platinum. Now with this, you, this is assuming that you guys have gone in and you've looked at the marketing agreement or the listing agreement that we use that is in the drop, I'm sorry, that's in the Google uh, Drive. It is not the Florida Realtors listing agreement. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, that lets me know that you haven't been on, you haven't looked at the listing agreement there because all of this is in there. So go in and look under the sellers or the listing agent and all the information is there. And so what this says is for, if you want 5% new, can we cut your commission? So. Remember, I, when we were, for many of you, when we were at the um, uh, team meeting that we have at the library, I asked you to explain how we get paid, how we get paid. You have to understand how you get paid in order to be able to defend or hold your position on your value, right? So when I ask, how did you get paid? When agents, I'm sorry, when sellers here, 6%. They're thinking, dang, you're getting 6%. They don't understand because we don't do a great job communicating that there is also a co-op fee involved in there. Now, what is that? Is it always 50-50? You should know the answer is no. You can dictate that and the conversation that you have based upon the listing agreement that you use, depending on which listing agreement some of it says 50 50 automatically but what i would ask you guys to do and if you all want we can do this in depth we can i will do a training a training like this on the computer or we can do it live because this might be one where we all might need to get together and meet and do this so that we can answer these questions as well as buyer and seller questions if you guys think that's valuable uh i will ask that you guys let me know but in here, so if someone wants a silver, like wants to do 5%, I know, I know you guys can't see it because of the glare. That's what we call a quick sale. Now, if they want to do 5%, people are going to assume that's three and a half, I'm sorry, two and a half, two and a half. My communication is always Mr. Seller, world-renowned real estate, their marketing services, or to represent you either as a buyer or a seller, their fee is 3% right? That's what I say. Our fee is 3%. Anything else that you want to pay to the co-op agent is up to you. So if you want 4%, we can do a 4% listing. We can do a 4% listing, but understand that means that the incentive to the other agent is only going to be 1%, right? Once again, this is me talking to my potential sellers because I understand value and how do we get back to value? Because when you go through and look at the track record and your history, whether it's the closed sales or the exposure that you get or the days on market better than you have for your competition or the market average, that's what you want to use. And then I have already everything they get for 5%, 6% or 7%. But Mr. Seller, there is a way for you to get it this for 4%. And then that goes back into those tools that are in our toolbox. Mr. Seller, if you bring a buyer that's not represented by another agent or another brokerage, if you find them, and if you want me to handle that, instead of 6%, it goes to 4%, right? If it's one of your immediate family members, 
it goes to 3%, right? So there are ways that we can communicate uh, all of that, but it's too much to go in depth with this information right here uh, is something. Uh, it would be great. And here's what, here's the way the human mind works. If something is already pre-printed, if it's pre-printed, we usually have a tendency to accept what's told to us in an authoritative figure or if it's already printed. So on the listing agreements that I use, I pre-print the 3% for world renown, right? Therefore, what, do you, what would you like to offer the other brokerage? Right. If you want them to have 2%, then it's a 5% listing. If you want them to have 1%, it's a 1% listing. But what I do in the marketing of your property doesn't change. Right. And once you communicate that and help them understand how we're compensated, because commission is, oh, well, it's, you get 6% of the sales price. No, understand once again that we're also working for free until we close your property. Right. And make sure that we're using these powerful words free. Let me ask you, Sean, are you as the seller? And so this is me asking you like you just asked me about the commission. So, Sean, you're compensated for your work, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Now, how would you like to wake up every day, go out and work for your employer for, let's say, 45 days? Because that's what the median days on market here is, is here in your area. 45 days with no promise of compensation. Does, does that sound like something you would jump into? Not something I would jump into, no, sir. And what if not only were you going to wait to be compensated, we're gonna say median time, 45 days, which means it could be 90, could be 180. What if your employer came to you and said, I want you to work for free for 45 days, and I know that you're probably worth, the fact that you have the chutzpah enough to do this for free for 45 days, I know you're probably worth three coconuts, but how would you feel if your employer, who you have to be obedient to, who you have to do in their best interest, right? Not your own. What if that employer came to you and said, Sean, I know you're going to, you're taking all the risks, but can I get it for two? Is that something you would sign up for? Probably would not sign up for that. Okay, well, you know, I've, I'm gonna sweeten the pot for you, Sean, as a seller. Um, what if you did all this and then on the, you was 90 days in, 120 days in, and nothing happens, but because you signed this agreement that said that if you couldn't sell the property in 180 days, you walk away and your employer doesn't pay you. And all you can say is, I tried my best, hope you have better luck next time. Is that something you would sign up for? Probably wouldn't sign up for that one either. Well, that's what I do for a living. That's how I provide for my family, right? So when you guys know, and you can't be afraid, thank you, Sean, you guys mm -hmm. can't be afraid to put it right out there in front of the client. I think that we're so afraid and we're so timid. Well, someone else can do it for 1%. We see 1% listings or flat fee brokerages. If good. That's fine. I'm telling you guys right now, we're dealing with people. We're dealing, there are people out there who understand the value and there are people who buy and sell lots of properties who, as far as um, investors or buyers and sellers, but they still understand the value. I don't think we understand the value that we have one and then we aren't professional enough to be able to communicate our value. And that's why websites and that's why third parties can come in because they're saying hey if everything is right here when you become a commodity you start uh competing on what price right and we become a commodity and there's no professionalism in there all right so i'm gonna be quiet what else you guys got oh so prime said uh, for on miami agent magazine go to agent snapshot so you guys can see it in the uh chat section agent snapshot from the miami miami agent magazine and it will be one of the choices uh, to be featured so agent snapshot thank you so much for that prime appreciate your input ma'am uh anyone else have anything else all right and cheryl yes we are going to make uh that happen as far as um getting together to go over all of those role play uh, and what i'm going to ask from you guys another ask 
is really, really, really take this serious. Um, and you can tell me that you take this serious as much as you want. Actions, actions, actions. And it's not actions as far as production and closings. It's doing the hard, unsexy stuff when, when, it's, when you don't want to. And one of my friends asked me, he said, Neil, how do you get up and how do you do this every day? What motivates you? I'm like, dude, because really, understand this. If you're talking about your real estate income, you don't earn a penny until someone else is so pleased with your service that they're willing to close a deal with you. All the other talk, yes, we support you. We'll share your links on Facebook, social media. We'll give you pats on back. We'll buy you free drink tickets. All of that. None of that means anything if we're not closing deals. Now, on April 1st, we're supposed to have our team meeting at the library. We are not going to have our team meeting at the library on April 1st. I'm going to reschedule that because I'm going to be going to the International Economic Forum or the World Strategic Forum down in Coral Gables um, on the 1st and the 2nd. So I will, we will not be having that. Um, and I'll be rolling out some strategic reasons of why I've decided to do that uh, in addition to uh, the obvious reasons of that is international, but there are some things that we have working on um, behind the scenes with that that should help all of us as agents and as world now. All right, anything else from anyone else? Chime in now or forever, not forever, hold your peace, just hold your peace till the next time we talk. Anything else from anyone else? All right, I guess not, good stuff. Uh, that is going to be it. This video will be up for you guys uh, a little bit later. We're gonna say tomorrow. Um, I'm going to share those open houses in the closed group uh, for you guys. If you can go out, check out Sean, uh, check out the open houses, give him feedback on the property, um, enter to win a raffle. Don't let them win, Sean. If they come in and put their name in the raffle, they better not win, uh, even if they're the only name to drop in the bucket. Um, and then we'll be seeing you guys. I have a request from Cheryl to get together, I believe, and I have a request from um, who else? Who else? Stanya to get together, so we'll be doing that. Uh, where are the open houses? We, I'm going to share all, so they're in Miami and Miami Shores. One is today is in Miami, and the other two are in Miami Shores uh, on Friday and Saturday, but I'll be sharing that in the closed group so you guys can see all of that right now. All right, guys, be awesome. Do something today to move yourself closer to your dreams. Uh, help someone. Uh, do something for someone else that they can't do for themselves with no expectation of Neil. in return. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I just thought about something. As always, this Saturday, if anybody's interested, I am doing my first time home buyers uh, class at Opalaka CDC, 780 Fisherman Street in Opalaka. If anybody's interested in coming, I normally present about 1230 in 1230 to 115. So if anybody's interested uh, in seeing how I present that, more than welcome to come. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So guys, go out there, support Cheryl or go out there and learn so you know how to host those yourselves. All right. Anything else? Anyone else? Nope. We're all good. Uh, guys, be awesome today. Love you. Don't be average. Be world renowned. Get some deals, man. That's what it comes down to. The game has been and will always be about closed sales, close some deals. Love y'all. Peace. Thank you.